to start off this session by asking them what their favorite part of the day was. Hi. What was the best part of your day today? P.E. I especially like to ask them about things that they enjoy doing or that they do well. It just sets them up to be in a positive frame of mind to begin their lessons. You had workout Wednesday? Quadricep or whatever it's called. Yeah. You do that and that. What was the first thing? Okay. <laughs> How do you do it? That. That giggle. I love making kids smile and laugh, and I know that if I can get one before the lesson even begins, then they are in a good place and ready to start their lesson. I can feel, I can feel that stretch. All right. Uh, is there anything else that you want She's to She's about to tell me she got start? some new books, and I'm about to get really excited. I got new books today. Oh, Brooke. What did you get? It's hard to overemphasize the importance of developing the love of reading. And if they can get excited about any book, then that is a huge win. Room on the broom, perfect for Halloween coming up. Okay, sweetie, now let's get you going. Jump into the lesson. So we are working on the OU graphene. And OU can say a couple different things when it's together, but its most common sound is going to be ow. Mm -hmm, you remembered. Good job. Can you think of a word where OU says ow? Out. Mm -hmm, perfect. Outside. And that's a good word to help you remember. Mm -hmm, about. Yep, exactly. Hey, just as a quick review, would you go to these word cards, the word card pages, and just read those for me? Go ahead. Loud. Count. Scout, bow, cloud, sound, denounce. Well, I tapped you on that E. Denounce. How did you know that you said E? I tapped to rule is a game changer for struggling readers to help them know what those vowels will say. For more information on the tap to rule, check out the description below. It said its name. It was long sound. Trout, trout, sour, and. Shout, shout. Very good. I could tell that your wheels were turning in your mind on shout because you were like, okay, the OU says ow, so that would have to say shout, and you figured all that in your mind. Well done. Okay, so let's Looking at what they do right is a big deal. Sometimes they don't realize all the things that they are doing to help themselves progress correctly through a word. Yeah. That's okay. So now she's going to start reading a sentence, and sometimes struggling readers get a little okay. scared when they Look see a lot of words on a page. So one. one way to set them up okay. for success one, and to lessen the, words, that anxiety is to ask them first beforehand, is there anything on this page or in the sentence that I can help you with? Is there any word that looks scary? She said no, so she went ahead and just began the sentence. I used to sit in my mound on the sofa and ate everything. Now I spend my time st er, I mean, strumming, strumming, strumming the banjo. What wow, that was beautiful. There were, you got all of the hard words in there. There was a couple little easy words that I know you know if you want to try it again and just look at all the little easy words really carefully for me. Notice I allow her to fix the error herself. I just point out what the error was and let her be in charge of fixing it. And now I spend my time strumming. Good job. Yeah, it's that word that starts with the E. Right before everything. Eat. Yeah. Okay, number two. What's the word on the second line that starts with a D on number two? Okay, you're going to see her struggle with word, and you'll see my technique for helping her. I'm going to tell her how far she got correctly, so that when she gets to that point, when she tries to begin, she'll pay really close attention to the very next letter or two. Dorm. It tore me. 
Now you got all the way up to the R. Dimitri. Mm -hmm. So there's two ORs in that word. OR is a grapheme that says OR. You already know that. So you got the first door, then you said ME, and then you got TOR, and then an M snuck in right before the E, the last one. Can you try that one more time for me? DOR, IT, TORY. Yeah, or perfect, dormitory. Okay, and then there's another kind of hard word on the end of the first line. But since you know that the OU says OW, you can probably figure that word out. Tap two on the E. Devour. I think you said it. Let me hear you say it one more time. Devour. Now, number two, go for it. Okay. I am proud of you, said Jimmy. Just please don't devour the staff meals in the in the story. Fridge. Beautiful. In the dormitory fridge. There's an apostrophe S after staff. Can you read that word with that apostrophe S? Oh, staff. Mm -hmm. Good job. What do you have in your hand? That looks I think she wanted to show me this cute little thing that she made, so I made sure to play along and to keep things happy and positive and fun. Sure. Okay, I pick number three. Three, one, two, three. I have to admit, I think I had more fun with this than her, though. This brought back some pretty fun memories from my childhood. I would like eight, please. What is it? What is it? I'm nervous. You are good. <laughs> it says it right there. Good. Yay. I got lucky. <laughs> okay, back okay. to work. Okay, number three. Okay, here she's about to come to a hard word. She's going to approach it carefully, read it correctly, and I am going to shower on the praise. Your, yourself, you're one of the team, said Don. Wow, Brooklyn, that. It really is helpful if you can point out exactly what they did right. We're going to give you a word that you don't have the tools to figure out how to read. And so when you came to a hard word, you're like, okay, I got this. And you just figured it out letter by letter. And you got all of those words correct. Stars. Here's another example of pointing out what they do right. It's just really helpful in the learning process. Again, Brooklyn, you got every single word correct the first time because you stopped and you didn't guess. You knew that you could figure it out, and so you figured out every single word on your own. Having okay, here you're going to see Brooklyn struggle with the U sound. Students, especially those with dyslexia, often struggle with the U and O sound. They can be very confusing to them. Student? That U is kind of a confusing letter, isn't it, to figure out what sound it makes. Tap two on it. Is there another vowel one or two doors down? No, so it's not going to say its name. It's just going to say its normal short vowel sound like... Uh, um, stunned, stunned. Mm -hmm. Again, that tap two rule saves the day. It helps them so much. If you need to learn more about the tap two rule, there is a link in the oh, description beautiful. below. I love how you went and fixed they when you knew that it was wrong. That very first word, can you tell me what that first word is? There. Perfect. I knew you knew it. Okay, number seven. Number seven? Mm -hmm. He was, he was foul. He was foul and and shouted loudly that he had lost that he had a lot of high cloud cloud like cloud cloud okay. wow well done cloud at the motel you know that 
You know I'm going to go crazy about all the things you did right. Can you guess one thing that you did right in that sentence? One thing that I'm going to say? Took my time. You did, especially on clout. You, Because you started to say clout, but you probably never read this word before. It's probably the first time you've ever read this word. And you were thinking, maybe it's clout, but I've never heard that word before. So you threw in another sound and you're like, no, because I know that OU says ow most of the time, especially in this lesson. So then you're like, okay, I must say clout. You went through all of that in your head and you got it correct. I'm so proud of you. That's just one thing you did right in that sentence. He's... You'll notice that sometimes they miss tiny little words that you know that they know. Ask them to pay special attention to them, and then they will do much better the next time. Oh, I love how you're getting so confident. Yes, what's the first, what's the word after sour? His. Mm -hmm. I knew you knew it. Sometimes just those tiny little words can trip us up for some reason. Number nine, pay a special attention to the tiny little words. Tiny little if we, if we pound, we pounded. In a minute, you're going to hear me explain to her that the N had snuck in to one of the words that she was trying to read and how the letters L, N, and R are notorious for doing that. If we just make her aware of the error, then she can fix it herself. Yeah, is there any word in there that you weren't quite sure on? Kind of like, mm, I had to kind of think about the O-U for pound and mouth. Oh, that, that one that starts with a P. I think I might have heard an N slip in there on accident. What would that word say if there's no N in there? Pouted. Those N's, Brooklyn, they are sneaky. N's, L's, and R's. They will try to sneak into words without you even knowing. Those letters are brutal. They are just monsters. And this puts the blame of the error on the letters, not on the student. Get it out of there. They're just naughty little letters. That was beautiful. Number 10. Sometimes so here as we are concluding our lesson i'm just going to end with some compliments and make sure that we end on a positive note you always seem so happy and cheerful oh but it's time how many pluses do you think we should put on that one one two three four and five but i want you to have more than oh yeah what does it say in there it's, it's good i'm nervous Nothing. Nothing. Well, that means that we get to make it up. So I get to say, I think you should put 12 pluses on lesson 50. It's perfect. You deserve every single one. I'm so proud of you, Brooklyn. You should feel very proud of yourself, too.